In this video, I want to show you how you can create shared data sets across multiple reports in Power BI. I want to show you how to do it step by step and also why you should be doing it in the first place. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernanda and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where I focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So in order to explain how and why to use shared data sets, let's go through this scenario that I prepared for you today. So here I have a report published in my Power BI service which is analyzing grocery sales. It's a pretty simple report and it just combines multiple Excel files into one data set for report use. In a previous video I explained how to combine multiple sources into one query in Power BI so if you're interested in that I'll leave a link uh, down in the description if you want to check it out. When you publish reports in Power BI service you'll notice that you actually publish two things. You publish the data sets and the report itself and to illustrate that we're gonna go to the lineage view here and you'll see that before you get into the source itself, you have the grocery sales data sets and the grocery sales reports. And if you go to the workspace here, you'll see that you have two things here, the reports and the data sets. So the report file, grocery sales analysis, contains the visualizations that you make for the reports, whereas the data set contains the data and the transformations you make to visualize in that report. So this means that any transformations that you do in Power Query, any calculated columns that you create, any measures, relationships, they're all stored in the data set itself. So imagine you're in a scenario where you've built this very beautiful Power BI reports, which has a lot of complicated calculations and lots of very interesting visuals. One of your teammates were tasked to create a report using the same data set, but visualized differently. Now the first instinct here is to probably download the PBX file, make the visual changes and republish it as a different report in the same workspace. Now while this method works, it also comes with its own problems. So here from the grocery sales uh, report here, we will just need to click the download PBX file and to recreate this in a different report. i um, already done that um, and I've renamed it grocery cost analysis and it's the exact same report except it's a different name here and we'll just pretend that we have other analysis here that is different from the grocery sales analysis report. So let's publish this into the same workspace where we have the other report so I think it's in my workspace and once that's published let's go back to the service here and let's go and have a look at the lineage view here. So here in the lineage view, I can highlight the three main problems when it comes to uh, using multiple data sets with your Power BI reports. So the first problem here is the fact that you have multiple duplicated data sets. So when we publish that grocery cost analysis report into the Power BI service, it essentially created another data set which has the exact same data as the grocery sales analysis. This means that you have two data sets that have the exact same data but have to be maintained separately. This means that you have two exactly similar data sets that you have to maintain and refresh separately. And depending on the refresh times on each of these data sets, your two reports might show data that is completely different from each other. The second problem is the maintenance of calculations. So imagine you need to create a DAX measure in one of these data sets. So let's say you want to calculate total sales. And actually let's replicate it now. So let's open the grocery cost analysis here and let's create a new measure which just calculates the total sales by multiplying the unit price and quantity so we'll name this one total sales and we will do here a sum x very easily grocery sales and then we'll multiply unit price by quantity and let's say we want to show it here in the grocery cost analysis. We'll show it as a different card and then publish this into the service. So the publishing will overwrite the uh, grocery cost analysis data sets within our workspace, uh, which means that we'll add this uh, measure 
into that data set in the service. So let's wait for this to publish. Let's open the reports. And you'll see you have the total sales uh, measure here, the card. And when you hit edit, you'll notice that you have the measure here for you to use. Now imagine a scenario where you want this exact same measure, but in the grocery sales analysis, so in the other report. It means that you need to rewrite this measure. So you need to open that Power BI file, write this measure and republish overwrite the grocery sales analysis in order to have the exact same measure as this one that we've just done. So if we go back to the lineage view here, uh, because they work independently, it means that if you want them to both benefit from the same kind of calculations, even though they're the same file, the same data sets, they are still separate. So it means that you need to maintain them separately, uh, which means that you can't take advantage of calculations that are being done on one report to the other. The third problem is the fact that you have multiple connections to the same source. So you'll see here, although we have the exact same data sets, which is not a problem, you have two separate connections to the same place. So the SharePoint folder where the data is connected. This means that every time you want to refresh both of these data sets, it has two different connections to get that data from these sources, from the same source, um, but separate connections to refresh both of these data sets. And depending on where your data is or how many data sets you have in your workspace, this could have an impact to your performance. Um, so it's best practice to minimize the number of data connections whenever possible. And by using shared data sets, you can solve all these problems. So let's have a look at setting one up. So let's start with a clean slate. Let's delete all of the reports that we have in my workspace. We have this in our desktop already, so we just need to republish it. So we're going to go back here to our grocery cost analysis reports. We'll close this. Um, we'll create a couple different versions. So we're just going to duplicate this. We'll name one grocery sales analysis. And we'll name this one just grocery sales. So first of all, what we'll need to do, we'll create the shared data set first, which is going to be uh, the one that is containing our data. So let's select this one. Uh, what we'll do, we will remove the, um, the visuals here, just so that we uh, can tell that this is gonna be our data set. We'll also remove the measure just so that we can demonstrate how this will show up later as a shared data set, but we'll keep it lean for now. Uh, just the data without any visualizations. Let's publish this into the workspace, so my workspace. So now that it's published, let's go to the Power BI workspace here. And you'll see if we go to the lineage view, Again, you will see the same setup here. So we've got the grocery sales, you have the reports and the data sets. We have the report here, um, but you can delete this. So you don't, because you don't really need this, we're gonna use the other reports as our visualization. So we just wanna keep the data sets and don't worry about deleting it because deleting the report doesn't necessarily mean it deletes the data set. So now you have a data set that you can use to share across your different reports. So let's close this one and let's open one of our reports. So let's go to grocery sales analysis here. And from here, what we wanna do is we wanna create a lean report. So that means a report that doesn't have a data set. And you can totally do that um, here pretty easily. So let's delete this uh, total sales because it's gonna have an error. Uh, what you wanna do is you wanna clear out everything in your data set, so any tables, any calculated measures, uh, columns, uh, so that we can use a clean slate. So all you need to do is delete. So we only have one table here, so we'll delete this one. And everything will be broken, but that's fine. And that should fix itself soon. And from here, what we wanna do is we wanna hit the Power BI dataset option here in the top left. And you'll see that we have some issues here. So it's saying that we still have data coming from another source. And that's probably because we have some hidden files in the data set that doesn't show up here. So to make sure that you've cleared out your data set, you wanna go to Power Query itself. 
you'll see we have some transformation stuff here that we actually didn't uh, show so let's let's delete all of these to make sure that everything is completely empty uh, delete hit close and apply and then now let's try power bi datasets again so it will load us the data sets available to us. Remember we published this data set now, grocery sales. When you hit create, you'll see that again, it will fix everything now, but you'll see a couple of differences here. So first we, are, we have data again in our data sets, but this data set is now the one that we published. Uh, you don't have options here on the left hand side to get more data or see the data itself uh, because now you have a lean report pulling from that uh, different Power BI data sets. So all you can do at this point from this report is uh, modify the visuals. Let's hit publish now here and let's publish it from the same workspace. So my workspace. So now that that's published, let's open it here. And yeah, you see it, it works. And if we go to the lineage view here, let's just refresh the preview here. So now here you see that you have the grocery sales data set, the shared data set here. And you have a report, a different report pulling from this data set. And it doesn't look anything special now, but let's do uh, the grocery cost analysis so we can pull from the same place. So let's close this one. Let's open grocery cost analysis. So again, let's go to our transformation here on Power Query. Let's make sure we uh, delete everything. So delete group. Well, let's delete grocery sales too. Make sure it's empty. Hit close and apply. Uh, let's delete this one because that will never be fixed. And then let's click Power BI datasets once again. Select the same data set as before, hit create and hit publish. So now that it's published, let's go back to our lineage view here. And now you see that you have two reports pulling from the same data set. So you see that both these reports are lean reports, so it didn't create a separate data set for you. Uh, it just uses the same shared data set, the grocery sales data set. So if I pull up the lineage view from before, you'll notice a couple of differences. So first, we have a singular shared data set that is being used by all the reports. This means that if you want to manage your calculations and measures, you only have to do it in one data set and I'll show you what the difference is later. You also notice that because we have one singular data set, we also only have just one singular connection to our data source. So this means that we're only hitting the data source once to refresh the one data set for all of our reports. So let's see the benefit of this shared data set in action. So let's open these two reports, grocery sales analysis and the grocery cost analysis. So let me just open the, both of these side by side. On the grocery sales analysis, if you hit edit, you'll have a preview of the data sets and same thing with the grocery cost analysis. Now imagine a scenario again where you want to have total sales to be calculated or to be used in both of these reports. Now instead of now updating these two reports, all you need to do is update the shared data set and it will automatically inherit all the calculations that you do. So instead of making changes to these two reports, let's make the change on our shared data set, grocery sales. So I'm going to open that. Uh, that reports in our PBIX here. And again, let's do the total sales calculation. So new measure, total sales equals to SumX sales, and then quantity multiplied by unit price. So pretty easy. Now we're gonna publish this. Uh, overwrite the one in the same workspace. If we now go back and refresh these two reports that we have, if we hit edit on the both of them, 
you'll see that you have total sales available for you in this grocery sales analysis as well as the grocery cost analysis. So you only had to make that change once in the shared data sets without having to modify all the reports, which is really great when it comes to working with multiple reports. And that's really it for this video. I hope I've persuaded you to start using shared data sets with your Power BI reports. Leave a like on this video if it helped you. It's the best way to let me know that you enjoy this type of content. Get in touch using the social media links that I included in the description box below. And thank you so much for watching guys see you again on the next one